2021 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Trey Lance, quarterback, North Dakota State. With the third pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers selected Trey Lance third overall. Trey Lance was supposed to be the ultimate X factor for the 49ers and he was supposed to change their franchise around. After not winning a Super Bowl since 1994, Trey Lance was supposed to be the guy to get it done. Spoiler alert, he was indeed not. Brock Purdy wound up taking his job and he was traded to the Cowboys for a fourth round pick. After playing a full season in Dallas, he didn't even take one single snap. So I think it's time to conclude Trey Lance is 100% a bust as he was supposed to be the guy to change the game for the 49ers and he wasn't even there for more than two seasons. So today in Madden 24, we're going to be trying to save Trey Lance's career. He comes in at a 66 overall, 33 awareness, 92 throw power, 79 deep. He's a pretty agile quarterback and I think that's one of his big aspects to his game. And we're going to see what we can do here with Trey Lance. And we're just going to pretend like Dak Prescott was never born. He does not exist in this. And Trey Lance has a pretty good supporting cast. He has Tony Pollard, C.D. Lamb, Brandon Cooks, Michael Gallup, one of the best offensive lines in the league. So if he is going to produce, I think this would be the team he can produce on because it's loaded all over the field. As we take a look at the defensive side of the ball, Mika Parsons, we got Diggs, we got Stephon Gilmore, we got Deron Bland, we got Lawrence, we got Malik Hooker, Leighton Van Der Esch. This defense is stacked. This team is stacked. I'm honestly very confident going into this. We're going to go ahead and sim to the midseason and we're going to see where Trey Lance and the Dallas Cowboys are sitting at. I'm very surprised here. We're two and four at the midseason mark. I thought he was going to produce with this team, but I guess not. Let's look at his stats. He's thrown for one. 1,100 yards, nine touchdowns, nine interceptions, with a 57% completion percentage. That is horrific. That is worse than Sam Darnold. That is not good at all. On the ground, Tony Pollard, almost 500 yards, three touchdowns. Look at that Rico Dow also gets in the end zone. He has one touchdown. And we're not really targeting CD Lamb as much as I really want to. He only has 24 catches and three touchdowns at the midseason mark. Jake Ferguson's our leading wide receiver in catches. Michael Gallup's getting the ball, Brandon Cooks. And I just don't think we're throwing the ball as much as we need to be throwing it because cd lamb only 24 catches that's not good he's also been sacked 11 times this season so that could be a very pointer factor of why he's not delivering the ball maybe the offensive line just isn't blocking we got demarcus lawrence with four sacks mika with three and a half and we got some guys with some interceptions so that's definitely not the pointer view of where i wanted to start into this as we're two and four let's just hope we can pick it up after the midseason mark here and we're not going to be upgrading trey lance so he's going to stay at a 66 overall now honestly i don't know where to go from here this was not expected at all i didn't think we were going to be two and four so that kind of messes up the plans but without further ado let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs and hopefully we can make a mid-season comeback i don't know and we actually made the playoffs with a 12 and 5 record we wound up only losing one game to end our season out and it seems like trey lance took over the second half of the season let's check out trey lance's stats to end the season i'm gonna assume he did a lot better than he was at the mid-season mark considering we only lost one game to end it out and he throws for 4,005 yards 36 touchdowns and 22 interceptions that's a lot of interceptions that's a lot of turnovers but he still got the job done and he also got sacked over 40 times tony baller runs for 1200 yards trey lance also adds two touchdowns on the ground and there we go we finally start targeting cd lamb 80 catches 1.3k and 13 touchdowns michael gallup also gets in there and brandon cooks with 67 catches and five touchdowns jake ferguson with 64 and five and pollard also had two and even Luke Schoonmaker had two touchdowns. And yeah, that's a lot of sacks. We definitely got to cut that down, especially if we want to win the playoffs. We can't be allowing three sacks per game. Not too bad so far. As we look at the defensive side of the ball, Mika Parsons ends with 16 and a half sacks. Stephon Gilmore gets three interceptions. Stephon Diggs gets three. And I'm not going to lie, this was very unexpected. I did not think we were going to do that to end the season. But what a way for Trey Lance to step up. And he's going to get four upgrades to end the season. And he's going to potentially go up to a 72 overall now. I think the majority of his upgrades are going to go to a strong arm. Because I think he's already agile. So he's going to wind up going up to a 71. 70 without morale. And that's good. That's definitely a good way to end it here. His awareness is still a 36. But we'll get there. And we're going to we take it on Tampa Bay in the first round of the playoffs so I really do hope that we can get it done because that would be a very big milestone to get Trey Lance's first playoff win and let's hop into it and let's see what happens before we do hop into this playoff game I want to tell you guys about underdog fantasy underdog fantasy is an app where you can pick a higher or lower on your favorite players projection if you get it right you can win up to 20x your money underdog fantasy offers 10 plus different sports you can wager on they even have an esports section on their app right now underdog fantasy is offering up to a hundred dollar deposit match when you deposit if you want to get that deposit match 
match on underdog fantasy use the code on top of the screen right now anyway back into the video all right i think this is going to be a very low scoring game here it's going to be a top defense versus a top offense we're going to go up seven nothing though late in the second quarter they're going to put up three seven to three now let's see if we can get anything done on the offensive side of the ball looks like we're not moving the ball they're going to get another field goal seven to six we're going to score again 14 to six late in the fourth quarter and trey lance and the cowboys are going to get the job done here as we're going to beat the tampa bay buccaneers 14 to six in the wild card definitely a low scoring game exactly like i said but look at that trey lance and mika parsons and trey lance gets it done his first career playoff win in his first career full season i guess you'd say because he's never had a full season as a starting quarterback and let's check out trey lance's stats he throws 12 for 24 191 yards and two touchdowns with a 50 percent completion percentage definitely not good on the completion percentage part i feel like we've had problems with that and like every rebuild the completion percentage has just been killing us but we get the job done cd lamb four catches 58 yards brandon cooks gets in there as well and michael gallup scores two touchdowns let's check out the defensive side of the ball mika parsons with one and a half sacks and Duran bland get the sack as well no interceptions but we get the job done and we get the win and now we're on to the next round i just want to say if you guys are enjoying this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you never miss another video we're taking on the philadelphia eagles in the divisional round of the playoffs our divisional rival trey lance is going to go head to head with jalen hurts in the playoffs let's see if he can get the job done all right here we go we're kicking off here we're going to go up seven nothing early we're going to get the ball back again we're going to go 14 nothing 21 nothing 21 to 7 21 to 10 let's not blow this lead 28 to 10 31 to 10 and this just looks like a clean blowout 38 to 10 now 38 to 17 and trey lance and the cowboys take down the philadelphia eagles and jalen hurts and nick sarani and what a game i cannot wait to look at these stats we put up 38 points against the eagles defense what a game this was. Let's check out the stats. And Trey Lance throws 20 for 24 with an 83% completion percentage. 240 yards and two touchdowns. This is definitely a big pickup considering last week he had like a 57%. Rico Dowell scores two touchdowns on the ground. Trey Lance also adds some yards on the ground as well. CD Lamb gets five catches along with Jake Ferguson also gets five. Michael Gallup scores again this week with a touchdown. And Brandon Cook scores the other touchdown. And now we're off to the next round. We're off to the NFC Championship. Let's see if Trey Lance can get it done and can he win the Cowboys a Super Bowl and we're taking on the Los Angeles Rams in the NFC Championship at 9 and 8 LA Rams let's get right into it let's see if Trey Lance can get the job done all right this is going to be a very big game for us we're going to go up 7 nothing early let's see if we can play defense in this one 7 to 7 we need to be able to hold a lead in this game because they got a very good team we're going to go up 10 to 7 24 to 7 oh my god this might be another blowout late in the fourth quarter 27 to 7 and our defense is just locking them up and we're going to walk out of here with a win and we're heading to the Super Bowl Trey Lance has taken the Dallas Cowboys to the Super Bowl. I think that's the first quarterback to do it in about 20, 20, 30 years. But Trey Lance gets the job done. Let's see his stats for this one. And Trey Lance goes 16 for 21, 157 yards one touchdown in the 71 percent completion percentage not bad tony pollard on the ground punches in a touchdown along with our fullback hunter lukey and on the receiving end brandon cook scores the lone receiving touchdown we only had one this week and let's hop into the super bowl game let's see who we're playing let's see if we can take them down and let's see if trey lance can get the dallas cowboys a super bowl victory and we're taking on the baltimore ravens in the super bowl i'm excited for this one i'm not gonna lie let's see if trey lance can get it done though and bring us a super bowl home all right, this is going to be a big one. It's going to be up to the defense this game. We're going to go down 3-0 early. We're going to go down 10-0 early. Let's see if we can score in this drive. We can. We're still down 10-7, to though. We need to be able to put up points this game. At halftime, we're going to tie it up 10-10. to Baltimore's been driving lately, but our defense has been holding them. They're going to go up 16-10 to now. Can we make a late comeback? And we're not going to be able to get it done. Baltimore Ravens are going to win this Super Bowl here. We had an opportunity late in the game to go put up some points, and we just weren't able to do it. We weren't able to pursue the drive. Definitely a tough one. I feel like in most of these simulations, we'll make the playoffs and like 90% of them we want to make in the Super Bowl and we lose there's only been one video where we actually win the Super Bowl we couldn't get it done here Trey Lance falls to the Ravens and the Ravens are always the team that beats us I find it so funny but let's check out the stats to end this game and a uh, terrible game from Trey Lance he goes 10 for 17 99 passing yards no touchdowns no interceptions not a good game definitely not the best game he's had tony pollard scores a touchdown the lone touchdown we had and trey lance adds some yards on the ground tulm had three catches 27 yards this was one we can definitely learn from in the future and we allowed two sacks once again the defense we had four sacks this game sorry five sacks and we still couldn't get it done i just want to say i really appreciate y'all man we are at 600 subscribers now two weeks ago we were at like 350 we've went up so much i just want to say i really appreciate the support on this channel and if you guys have any ideas in the comments below let me know for 
sure. And I just want to say thank you for 600. I will be dropping some MLB The Show content next week when the game comes out Friday. Anyway, until next time, in two days signing off. See ya.